You know what? I'm just gonna give you my thrifting hot take right off the bat. Do not skip the go back rack. Say it with me, kids. Some of my best finds have been found at the go back rack next to the fitting rooms. Thank me later. You're welcome. It has come to my attention that it is fall now. And you might be thinking, Scotty, are you drinking crazy juice? It's only August. To which I have to say, it's actually coffee and I'm actually out. I need more. Listen, I know it's only August, but I'm sick and tired of the heat. August is like the most miserable month of the whole year for me because it is like 110 degrees outside thanks to climate change. Back in my day, the heat wave was only 104. Some of it could be consumerism that is motivating me to get excited for fall. Stores start putting out their Halloween and fall decorations the day after the 4th of July. I just don't like the heat, man. I, I crave those crisp morning the dead leaves. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. That being said, today we are actually doing a thrift haul, but today's thrift haul is actually quite different because not only is it kind of a cumulative, cum, I can't say that word, cum, a combination of some things that I have been collecting that I have forgotten to haul because I like picked up a few pieces here and there, but also I have styled quite a few of the items today into kind of a pseudo lookbook, a pre-autumn, I'm getting excited for fall but it's still stinking hot outfit video. So if you like hauls, but you also like styling videos, if you like whimsy goth, if you like cottage, if you like my aesthetic, which is just a combination of a bunch of aesthetics off Pinterest because I have no personality other than what the internet tells me to wear, then you're gonna like today's video. I feel like videos like this are a lot more helpful than just here is what I bought because not only me, not only am I showing you what I bought, but what I intend to use it for, and I'm styling it in an outfit, so it is more practical, if that makes sense. So, first item I'm actually wearing, I will show you, and if you caught my, my little intro with my, my little advice for finding things at the thrift store, this will be, uh, this will be relevant because, I, I need a better view, hold on. Ugh. Don't look at my mess. I found these Levi Strauss brand, super high-waisted, kind of a pumpkin spice color, I almost said flavor, corduroy pants. In a size 29, but I like my, my Levi's to be a bit loose. I'm like a size 27, but I found these in the go bags after I had just tried on a bunch of stuff and I just, I saw them and I was like, yes, I actually have been looking for a pair like this. My husband was like, don't you already have a pair, but they're different, okay? So I have a pair of Levi high-waisted cords. They're a thinner cord, they're the stretchy kind and they're wide leg. These are the tapered leg and they're the chunkier cord. I used to have a pair of tan chunky cords a couple years ago, but then the zipper broke and then I got it replaced and then after I, I got it replaced, I put them on and gave me camel toe and it was just weird. So I got rid of them and I'm like, I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for a good quality pair for autumn because corduroy is very autumn. So this is one outfit, hold on. This is one outfit. I don't have my wide angle lens on right now. So, you know, we're gonna have to deal with this. <laughs> bad views, but this is the outfit I'm, that I'm wearing with these right now. And let's get back in our a little spot. Oh, shoot. Is that better? But yeah, so that's one outfit that I have planned for this. So you, how I usually approach baggier bottoms, I had like an idea in my head how I approached it, but I finally have like a phrase to put with the approach. And I stumbled across the phrase on TikTok, of course, where I get all my edumacation. And it is big bottom, little top, big top, little bottom. Basically saying that when you have a baggier item, you want to pair it with a tighter cropped item. So this is like a, one of those smocked tops. This is from Forever 21. I thrifted it a couple years ago. Off the shoulder, very cute. It's a lot more femme, which kind of pairs well with the more like mom jean baggy, a little bit more androgynous style of the corduroys. And they're super high waisted, so they're more like modest, if you know what I mean. So having the hyper femme, more tight cropped silhouette goes well with the more baggy, high waisted, slouchy look, if that makes sense. And then the second outfit I put together with it, another thing I like to do is just wear like cropped t-shirts. This one is a mesh t-shirt, and I will try to link a similar one 
one down below, but I think I got this one a few years ago off of AliExpress before I really knew what AliExpress was. I was just like, oh cool, let me try it. And then on underneath, instead of just a regular bra, because usually what I would wear underneath these is like a tiny little like cropped cami, but I, I'm in my like badass era and I have these really cute uh, bralettes that I'm not brave enough to actually like wear as is, like some girls do because that's not me. <laughs> Wearing this underneath to, yeah, just to kind of like go with the whole sheeredness. So it's like a little bit spicy, but it's not spicy. It's pretty modest. It just like makes you feel more like sexy without actually showing your bits, if you know what I mean. And then the next top that I thrifted, I actually got this recently and this is like the whole reason, like this thrift trip is what inspired this entire haul. Um, I got this the same time I got the cords, is this cute little like cropped, almost a corset style top. In fact, it has like bow boning in the front and then it's smocked in the back. I'm not a big fan of spaghetti straps on me I still have to get back on my my arm toning journey and I keep saying I'm gonna do it and then I don't because I'm lazy but what I did with this is again a little top I paired it first with the corduroys and then over the top of it I got this like crochet cropped bolero just to go over the top to cover my arms and cover all my insecurities and it has bell sleeves which is really nice up until the point that you need to wash dishes and then as a nuisance but it's super cute and I felt like this it provides coverage without being overly hot, which is something that I really needed for pre-autumn because um, it's hot, man. The cool thing about a lot of these pieces that I got more recently, they're very mixable and matchable. So it's almost like a little capsule pre-autumn wardrobe. And then a lot of these things can be layered up and layered down, if that's a term, into different combinations of outfits. So another thing that I got on this same thrift trip is this, I don't know if this is, I think this is more considered midi than matte. It's kind of in the in between for me, but this really pretty dark teal floral vintage skirt from the 90s. Um, that's another thing. Always check the different sizes as well because I was just honestly just walking down the aisles aimlessly and scanning for color, print, and texture. That's usually how I work. And this was in the XL and it was labeled an XL, but it fits more like a medium. It, sh it doesn't have a size, but it is stretchy, so it could probably fit up to an XL. But like on me, I can wear it up on my waist and I have a 27 inch waist. I can also wear it down on my hips, but I do really like this skirt with a lot of the tops that I thrifted. In fact, the next outfit is this beautiful vintage 90s whimsigoth sparkly bell sleeve top. It's a lot of words, <laughs> but I really love this top because it has a sense of like, it's fashionable. It feels like it, this is something that companies would put out now, but it has a vintage 90s tag on it. It's by Unit USA. I've never heard of that brand, but what I really like is the bottom is sheer and then the top is is, you know, it's opaque, so, you know, coverage. But this could either be worn as kind of like, you know, those baby doll or peplum style tops, or it can be tucked in, which I did with this skirt. And then because the skirt is slightly loose on my waist, I did belt it. And then I haven't really talked about shoes. When I was filming my try-on clips, I was really overwhelmed that day. I didn't want to have to put on shoes and take off shoes. In my thumbnail, these are the shoes that I am wearing with this specific outfit. I might also wear my Leona doll. These are both Doc Martens. This one is the Leona. I think this one is the classic. These shoes are honestly what I wear with everything in the autumn. And then this top, again, everything is super versatile and goes with each other. I also discovered that I love velvet pants. Like who knew that I would find velvet pants to be a staple, but literally these velvet pants go with everything, including this top. And it looks good with just the top and the pants. However, what I discovered also is that I can put a corset it over the top of it and then I look like a late 90s early 2000s teen fantasy sci-fi protagonist there's like a specific aesthetic that I'm thinking of that's very nostalgic that reminds me of the sci-fi and fantasy that was coming out around that time like Buffy insert other examples here I don't remember my brain doesn't go back that far I really like this combination and you guys probably have seen this corset top a couple of times in my last few videos but if you're new I bought this at the Ren Fair. this is actually a kids corset and size large. It is not reversible, but I have also worn it inside out because it's super well made and all of the seams are finished. So this is a really versatile piece that I got recently as well that just goes goes with everything. And then another top that I picked up, I think this was the time before last that I just went in for like a quick little trip and it wasn't something video worthy, but I got this really cute off the shoulder stretchy top. This is very similar to a lot of stuff that I wear on this channel and wear on my TikTok. It has like Ren Faire vibes, but I will probably be wearing this casually and I've 
I've been looking for tops like this that kind of give the element of fantasy but can be worn every day. And I don't have navy blue. I haven't really been drawn to navy blue, but because I'm trying to build my fantasy fall wardrobe, I thought that this would go very well. And it actually, of course, goes with the velvet pants. It's a little bit too much of like solid color. So I did pair it with my vintage 90s corset top that has this like, I call it dragon skin. It's probably like gator skin or something. But again, this is giving the early 2000s, late 90s fantasy sci-fi protagonist vibes. And I'm here for it. And I've had this for quite a while. This was actually like a, a piece that I wear to the Ren Fair sometimes. So I really like the idea of intermixing my Ren Fair wardrobe in with my, my casual wardrobe. It kind of helps me to kind of blend my different areas of interest together. Again, I talked in my more emotional video about not wanting to compartmentalize myself or at least show like little bits and pieces of my personality every day. And that's how I kind of want to do it is wear stuff like this and like that and have fun with it. You know, every day is an adventure. Again, these pants are so versatile. Another outfit that I've actually been trying to put together for a while. I thrifted this top off of ThreadUp months ago and I had no idea how to wear it. I just knew I needed to cover my arms because I don't like my arms. So I originally figured out that I really like it with this mesh dot top that I had lying around that I don't remember where I got it, but it has like goth clown vibes. I mean, it, it, it's a vibe, but I didn't know what bottoms to wear with it. I was like, leggings? No, I don't really like it with like trousers because it's too bulky. But then I tried it with the velvet pants and it's a sleigh. I'm going to have to go out and find more colors. Like maybe I'll find a green, maybe I'll find a blue. I already have a black and then I have my black ones with stars on it from Cider that I reviewed quite a few months ago. But velvet pants, man, like these are wide leg, but I almost want to see if I can find some like leggings so I can tuck them into my knee high boots. I, it's, it's a phase, but I, it's a fun phase. So this is a really cute outfit. I also paired this with my vintage cameo necklaces that I got from my grandmother. And I think I got one at a, an antique market. I honestly don't remember which is which because I got a lot of jewelry from my grandmother when she passed away. But also I've been buying a lot of jewelry at the antique fair, which by the way, if you're wondering where I got this, I got this at the antique fair. And then last of the, the velvet pants. I also at this last thrift trip got this beautiful kind of a sheer dotted top. The silhouette on this is beautiful and it lays extremely nicely. It has like a romantic feel to it. I absolutely love this top and it is not the last time that you guys will see this top in this video, but mm, she's cute. I lied. There is one more outfit with the velvet pants. I forgot. I actually thrifted this Robbie B top a long time ago and I actually already hauled it, but on a whim, I decided to try it with the pants as well because I haven't worn this top even though I am like in love with it. It is so fabulous. But of course, the velvet pants with this top was a sleigh. So, and then can we talk about like putting my hair up in a claw clip with this outfit and the previous, it, it feels nostalgic for some reason. I don't know why. It's, it's like the Y2K vibes. My mom had a lot of those like claw clips when I was a kid, so. I totally forgot to show you guys this earlier, but I got this for a dollar off of eBay. I was bidding on an Adriana Papel, I think is what it's called, dress by the same seller. I ended up not winning that bid, but then I forgot that I also bid on this. So this, I, I won this and it fits me a little bit weird in the boobs. So what I did was I kind of pulled it up and made it off shoulder. My only problem is it's a little bit too close to my skin color. So I look naked, but I do have some red fabric dye as well as a little bit of black fabric dye. So I'm thinking about trying to dye this and make it more of like a wine red. If I end up doing that, I'll cut that into this video. If not, I'll let you guys know in the future. Okay, if you want to see fall as a pair of pants, it is these pants from the collective mod cloth collection from a couple years ago. I actually got to collab with mod cloth when this collection came out, but I didn't get my hands on these pants. I do have the dress in this print, but the only problem is they're a little bit like big. They're size UK eight. So they're technically an extra small, which is it's not usually my experience that extra smalls are too big. In fact, they're usually too small, but the part of it that's too big is actually it's too saggy in the crotch. I asked my Instagram followers how to deal with that and y'all came through and sent me some tutorials on how to tailor pants when the crotch is too long. So that will be a future endeavor. But I paired it with my over the garden wall t-shirt that was screen printed, well not custom, but I got it from Lady 
Lady Epi shop. She was doing like some over the garden wall inspired screen prints onto thrifted items. This is one of my favorite tops. And I had a brain blast when I was trying this on. I have those like super duper striped like they remind me of Jack Skellington trousers for, that I thrifted from Thread Up that are originally from H&M. And oh my gosh, it is so cool. And I think I'm going to wear that pretty soon inside because it's still hot as balls. The next item is also a Thread Up purchase that I made months and months and months ago and I didn't really know how to style it. It is this altered state slip dress. It's this or pumpkin orange. It's asymmetrical and has all these like different tiers and stuff. It's it was way too long on me. Some of like the triangles would like drag the floor. So what I did was I kind of pinned it up strategically and it looks pretty cool and drapey. The chest is too tight. I don't like it how it looks on my chest, but how I rectified that is I layered it with that black sheer polka dot textured blouse. And then I put my trusty vintage belt over the top of it and then put knee high boots on. And I have to say it is a sleigh. I sound cringe. This outfit was posted on my Instagram today. So y'all probably already saw it. Second to last outfit that I wanted to show you guys is not a thrifted item and many of you saw my little short or my TikTok or my reel depending on where you follow me. You already saw this sweater and it is amazing. This is by Knock Thrice which is a small business by Nora and she makes these amazing embroidered sweaters. They are limited quantity. She, she usually does like pre-orders and I pre-ordered this one. I believe they're going to do another sale of this one and right now at the time of filming this they're doing an over the garden wall a second pre-order for those designs and I'm so tempted but I do not have the funds but I'm pretty ex I'm, I'm pretty happy about this and so how I styled it for this video is with this princess highway plaid green skirt that I got from mod mod cough mod cloth a couple years ago during our collab not gonna lie she's a little tight on the waist I did not button it up but I I need to get on my fitness man I keep saying I'm gonna do it and I don't for my mental health and my health very cute I might actually just like install some elastic in the back just so I can stop complaining about how it doesn't fit. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make our clothes fit us instead of making us fit our clothes, shall we? But yeah, and I paired this with some knee-high orange socks and I will probably wear my, my, my Leona's and a wide brim hat so I can look like the typical fall pumpkin spice girl. Mm -hmm. Last item is also not a thrifted item. It is an item that was sent to me for free free from Cat Coven. It is this beautiful tapestry style corset dress. This is a size inclusive small business and these were up on the Kickstarter for this fashion line. I don't know if it's still available. I will edit in any information and put some information in the description. And I actually styled this on TikTok so I'm actually going to insert some clips right here of how I styled it. And yeah, this is gonna be something that I'm gonna be wearing this fall because it is just so cool. And I really like the vibe. I love all the greens. In fact, you guys are gonna see in a future video that I am shooting currently. I'm very much in my green era, specifically these dark like emerald greens and then like sage greens. I think you guys are really going to like that video. It is a DIY home decor video and I've been teasing it for a while, but it is something that it's like a project that I'm working with my husband on. So we're kind of like taking it in little bite-sized pieces, but it's almost done. So you guys will be seeing that pretty soon and in fact if you really like the vibes of the outfits today the whimsy goth fairy core just fantasy romantic aesthetic then I think you guys will really like the aesthetic of the room redecorate that we are doing in fact if this is the very first video that you've seen of me and you really like the outfits and the overall tone of this video then I would highly recommend you click that red subscribe button and also like this video and turn on the bell notification for when I upload. Let me know which outfit was your favorite, what piece was your favorite, or if you have any suggestions on how I can style some of these pieces in other ways, let me know. Also, let me know if you too are excited for fall, because I know a lot of us are far, far? Fall girlies is what I was going to say. I'm not much of a fall person myself. Definitely not a fan of those pumpkins and those orange leaves and cozy vibes. There's no coffee in here. I need a refill. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'm excited to see you in the next one. Bye bye.